What is the most challenging part of your job? Time management. Uh, certainly, uh, I answer that pretty quick because uh, I struggle with it every day. Um, I have about 350 people that are trying to get a moment of my time at any point in the day. Uh, on top of that, I'm trying to kind of see if any needs I have to steer the ship. Uh, on top of that, I have to um, also do my daily activities as well, which is customer engagement, prospect engagement, um, you know, running with products. So, um, you know, time management really bleeds into a few different categories. One is making sure I'm having the most efficient use of my time and my day, um, but also time management around work life balance. You know, I've, uh, I've got a personal life that, you know, I have to make sure I spend the right time with, and I do get focused and silent on my job. And, um, sometimes that can bleed into, you know, oh crap, it's not Friday at 11 o'clock and I haven't even eaten dinner yet. Um, so time management is something that uh, I'm going to continuously work on. I don't think I'll ever perfect, but um, I will certainly say that that's the biggest struggle in her life. As CEO, do you view account for financial statements? Uh, <laughs> daily, yes. Yes. So um, we live in a world of technology. And that allows us to uh, have everything done uh, in an electronic manner through a lot of very efficient applications. So at any point, I can look at, um, at anything. Uh, one of my favorite ones is uh, cost to acquire. So cost to acquire means how much does it cost me as a business to go and acquire a new customer. And that is an overall funnel of marketing dollars, research and development, sales costs, travel costs, everything attributed to it. Uh, and like I said, you can adjust your CAC over time. Um, as long as the revenue is coming in, you can adjust it. But, you know, I can have a quick purview at that right now and see what the real time is on all of that because we have the financial integration and back end to be able to dip into it immediately and, and pull it out. Um, of course, we have our annual reports that we have to do and, and we get audited by Deloitte three times a year. Um, and that's never fun. but. Um, yes, I do look at financial statements all the time. Um, and, and, you know, having my background and degree uh, helped me initially uh, to understand, you know, what gross margin is and all that fun stuff. But, um, you know, there are certain parameters that I pay attention to on at least a daily basis. Um, how else do you use accounting in your job? Uh, on everything. I mean, so I'll give you an example. Yesterday, uh, I was at an organization. Um, that we're looking to uh, partner with, um, they're looking to be a customer, and they've been hesitant to actually pull the trigger. Uh, I was able to dig in, and uh, their hesitation was around uh, the level of spend. And so, uh, the way that people typically buy my technology is annual advance upfront payment. Uh, that typically poses a cash flow issue to organizations. Um, organizations like people. Um, sometimes run from you know month to month or literally paycheck to paycheck and so if an organization has a cash flow issue and you've presented them with this wonderful package that has a great return on investment they know they need to buy it they can afford it over time but they can't afford it all in one lump sum so uh, I was able to look at their cash flow and then I was able to look at their expenses yesterday and we couldn't do a CapEx for them, um, capital expenditure, uh, because they didn't have the budget for it. So if you looked at uh, how they were going to expense things, what we were able to do is fit that in a budget on a monthly basis uh, so that they could afford it over time. Now, uh, from my perspective, I was able to increase the dollar value, so the end result of the contract value, because we were being more flexible on payment terms. So accounting was giving me the ability to dig deep with the CFO yesterday and say, look, I get fundamentally that you're not signing this for a particular reason. Uh, what is that reason? How can we help? And we can be flexible. And uh, we went through cash flow, we looked at expenses, and uh, we were able to come up with a mutual win. Without an accounting background, uh, I wouldn't have been able to do that.